Well, first up is The Invisible Man Returns, the next one in our Universal Horror Selections. Which I kept wanting to call The Return of the Invisible Man, and it's not. It's The Invisible Man Returns. Is there a Return of the Invisible Man? No, I'm just confused. Yeah. <laughs> so just it's so all kind of the same yeah. at this point. Still black and white. Yeah, 1940. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Directed by Joe May. Written by H.G. Wells, sort of. Well, they say it's a sequel to The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. He didn't. H.G. Wells didn't write this sequel. He's credited. He's credited as the original. Really written idea. by Joe May. Yeah, from st- scratch. From stars from... Cedric Hardwick, Vincent Price, and Nan Gray. One hour, 21 minutes. Top, bottom line, you like it? I did. I liked it. I liked it. I that think I liked the first one a little better original. than this one. I liked this one a little bit better. This was probably higher quality, <clears throat> better made, but I liked the story in the first one better. I liked the higher quality, better made, and I liked Vincent Price. Better oh, than Claude I definitely Rains. liked Vincent. I can't I know tell that's you anything a else. Because Claude, Claude Rains, Rains is a classic, but he's a classic. <laughs> but what else has he done? I'm, I'm sure there's a whole list of things, but not much in horror. I don't know. Yeah, Vincent Price. Stuff. Lots well, of everybody's stuff. Everybody's done him. Yeah. 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 Jeffrey Radcliffe has been convicted of murdering his brother. That's Vincent Price. Yeah. In his first horror movie role. He gets like two minutes of screen time. Well, he gets more on time. A lot he's, more. He's invisible. Yeah. <laughs> he's Not yet. Well, he's scheduled yeah, he to be hanged be. in a few hours for murdering his brother. His fiance Helen, and his friend or lawyer or something, Cobb, are trying to get him released. He's a lawyer and business associate. Yeah, he kind of... He runs colleague. the mine... I and guess. Yeah. And he's it's also... the two brothers and Cobb are partners in the mine is the impression I got. Yeah. And he's also sweet on Helen. Yeah. His girlfriend. So, Radcliffe's yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. Radcliffe's girlfriend. Yeah. But the home secretary is out of the country, so there's nothing that can be done. Dr. Griffin goes to visit Radcliffe right before the execution. Soon after, Radcliffe is missing from his cell. He's escaped. He escaped. He's gone. The guard explains yeah. how he basically just vanished into thin air. Just his clothes laying on the floor. We see the invisible man go to a prearranged spot to find a hidden suitcase full of clothes. He's planned this ahead of time. Yeah. How did he do it? Him and Griffin working together. No. Yep. Cobb confronts Griffin and said Griffin must know where Radcliffe and Helen are hiding. Inspector Sampson comes by and he recognizes the name Griffin. The original visible the original invisible man was this Dr. Griffin's brother. It doesn't take the cops long at all to put it together what happened. Really fast. Yeah. yeah. You know, in the first movie, it took like an hour for them to even figure out the guy was invisible. This one, they know it pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. The inspector already suspects that the same formula was used to save Griffin's friend Radcliffe. And that's true. In nine years, he has improved the formula somewhat where it works faster. Yeah. And how it worked was the guard was actually in the cell with him and he went around the corner taking care of some toiletries business and quick injected himself with a hidden syringe and the formula uh, works much quicker now. Much quicker. Yeah. yeah. So he injected, invisible, stripped, and the guard looked around the corner and said, well, he's gone. He, you know, Where'd he go? Into Where'd thin, he go? Into thin air. Yeah. Radcliffe meets up with Helen and he makes a few jokes about getting a job haunting a house. <laughs> It would work. Yeah. He makes Helen mm. promise to chain him up if he starts losing his mind the way the first guy did. He knows what the side effect of the drug is, and he also knows his friend the doctor hasn't found a cure yet. Yeah, and Griffin hasn't really improved on it in that way. It's no. so slow they make shit insane. Mm. Meanwhile, Griffin works on reversing the invisibility serum using an invisible guinea pig in an animated harness. And it works, but the pig dies. Mm. And it sounds kind of silly with the little invisible harness yeah, there. But it was a really it kind good of worked effect. pretty well. Yeah. yeah, it was a pretty good effect. And then effect. when the guinea pig dies, it reappears. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, sort of a cure. And a side note, too, you, you hear the expression, you know, being a guinea pig, you know, when you're experimented on or whatever. How seldom you see guinea pigs in movies in the lab. It's always monkeys and mice and... Lab you know, rats and, and mice. Yeah, and... and Yet you know. it's it's part of our you know our language you know being a guinea pig and you know here here was actual guinea pigs. I assume using, things like you know. mice and rats are cheaper and easier to maintain than the guinea pigs because they're smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe not back then. Mm. A policeman happens across Radcliffe and Helen, and Radcliffe is forced to disrobe. Helen returns home, but and it's okay. There's there's no full nudity because he's invisible. It's all hanging out though. Well, we don't know that. 
Probably cold. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Helen returns home, and Cobb wants to know where she's been. Griffin is confronted and threatened by Mr. Spears, an unpleasant drunk who runs the mining company for Mr. Cobb. Radcliffe follows Spears out to his car. There are some invisible hijinks, and Spears ends up admitting that it was Cobb who killed Radcliffe's brother. Mm -hmm. Get rid of both brothers at the same time Hanky and take Hanky over the com on. company. And get Helen. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Win, win, win. Mm -hmm. Spears runs home, but Radcliffe knocks him out and ties him up. Radcliffe then shows up at Cobb's house and tries to force him to write a confession. Cobb pulls out a gun and starts shooting wildly. Cobb meets up with Inspector Sampson, who is determined to protect Cobb. Hard to shoot an invisible man when he keeps moving around. Yeah, but they do come up with some good tricks to do it. Yeah, they try. Yeah. Redcliffe phones he Helen and Griffin and tells them to come over and celebrate. Griffin knows by now he's not going to be able to cure Radcliffe. Radcliffe then starts giving speeches about his great power. Mm -hmm. The madness is obviously starting. Megalomania, just like the first guy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Griffin tries to talk Radcliffe into giving the evidence to Inspector Sampson, and then Radcliffe will get off the hook for his brother's murder. Radcliffe just goes on and on about how he's going to get his revenge and he then wants take to over be the world. Hands on about it. Yep. So, Radcliffe knocks Griffin out and escapes. He goes straight to Cobb and leads him out of the out of police custody at gunpoint. He makes Cobb then drive him to Spears's home and confronts both of them about the murder. They then go to the mine and fight on a rail car. Way up in the air, one of those mining cars, you know, on the, mm -hmm. on the trains. Tense it's cool. Act, tense action. Radcliffe yeah. is shot, but Cobb falls and gets buried under a bunch of coal and eventually confesses to Helen about the murder, and then he dies. Mm -hmm. The inspector is still looking for Radcliffe, even though he now knows that Radcliffe is innocent. Radcliffe shows up, wounded badly. He's been shot. He's not doing well. Yeah. Plus, the drug is starting to get to him. Mm -hmm. The doctor gives him a transfusion, and we get a very cool shot of the blood vessels appearing in human form. He reverts back to his visible self and wakes up, cured and exonerated. And a happy again. ending. And now everybody can be invisible if they want to with this formula, and the cure is a blood transfusion. Easy peasy. Might be not that simple. Could be. Or maybe they all just forget about it before the next movie. Mm, maybe. Mm -hmm. There's an Invisible Woman movie coming up. Maybe they don't. We don't know how that goes. I think the Invisible Woman is an entirely different thing. I don't think it's chemical. I think it's some kind of device that it makes is. her invisible. Invisibility I, I, ray I don't think or it's, something. I don't think it's related. Well, I think we'll find well, out next week. We will, yeah. This moves pretty quickly. By the 15-minute point, the inspector already was looking for an invisible man. Yeah, yeah, he was right on the case there. Yeah. yeah. There are some good scenes of the invisible man in a rainstorm, and again with cigar smoke. Yeah, that was neat when they were trying to flush him out. Well, they, they had him trapped in the house, and it was raining outside. He stepped outside, and they saw, you, you could see, see the outline. outline and so they tried Which shooting the effect. outline. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, so he ducked back inside quick, and they were trying to use smoke. But then he took one of the uh, cops. Uh, it's like tear gas, filling yeah, up the room. Full, so they're all full wearing outfit, these yeah, gas masks. The gas mask. He just took one of their outfits and blended in and snuck out that way. Yeah, yeah it was a really, really good uh, trick there. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. And this was Vincent Price's first real horror role. Mm -hmm. We saw him a week or two ago in Tower of London. Not real. Other than having Boris Karloff in it, that's not really a horror movie. And he was still fairly new in the business. That was his third movie. He, he'd done a few things since then. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, body count? Two. Just two. Yeah. Cobb, who gets buried under a bunch of rocks, and Spears, who is hung by Cobb. Mm hmm Overall, it's entertaining, and the special effects were far better than in the first movie. Even with the gun with the wires. There's a note in IMDb that you can plainly see the, the wires holding the gun up because he's, you know, invisible gun, of course. And, and it's quite a long scene where he's, the gun is floating in the mm -hmm. air. I looked and looked, and I couldn't see the wires. I didn't either. Yeah. Maybe somebody's gone through and cleaned it up since. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all in all, entertaining. Ju just like the first time around, we don't get to see the invisible man until the final shot. But this time, we get a happy ending. Mm -hmm. And I think the have to say the story is better in the first movie... Which you don't. You yeah. disagree. Yeah, little, 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 but this one is very good. Yeah. Definitely worth seeing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cedric Hardwick got top billing. 
but several of the other characters get a lot more screen time. Vincent Price had the majority of the film's dialogue, even though he's only on screen for a minute or two at the end.